When Blair Harris, an inmate at the Bishop's Falls Correctional Center, needed dental surgery in October, correctional officers Ron McDonald and Roy Goodyear brought him to the Gander Family Dental Clinic. Harris was unconscious during surgery under the care of Dr. Louis Bourget. That's where it's alleged McDonald performed some of the dental work on the inmate while Goodyear filmed and then shared the video. Lawyer Bob Buckingham is representing the inmate, Blair Harris. He has no recollection of it. Uh, he was fully sedated. Uh, he came to on the way back to the uh, correctional center after the surgery. And so it was nothing, none the wiser until a couple of weeks later. That's when the prison superintendent told Harris about the video. The officers were fired and Buckingham says his client needs another surgery. Teeth fragments were left behind in his gums. This case it brings out every single issue that you can possibly think of in terms of negligence, uh, intentional torts of, of, of uh, assault and of battery, breach of privacy. We're going to be seeking uh, punitive and exemplary damages and aggravated damages. As for the video, Buckingham says he hasn't seen it and neither has his client. He says it's in the government's hands and he'll get a copy once the lawsuit progresses. In the civil suit, Buckingham will also ask a judge to decide if correctional officers have a duty to step up if they see another officer harming an inmate. That has not been something which has been tested in Newfoundland, and we're looking forward to a test case moving ahead on that. The Justice Department can't comment on the matter because it's before the court and won't confirm if the officers were fired, citing confidentiality. The RCMP confirms a matter involving correctional staff in Bishop's Falls is under investigation. The Newfoundland and Labrador Dental Board, which licenses dental professionals, says the oral surgeon in question is still practicing. They haven't seen a copy of the video and they also haven't received a formal complaint, something they believe they need to determine a course of action. Heather Gillis, CBC News, St. John's.